right, guys. Let me fix this. Uh oh. With it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to work. I'm a little bit late. It's not my usual thing, but you know, it happens sometimes. Wow, this is a great. Look at this sunshine. Wow. I haven't seen sun in days. It's beautiful. Wow. I shouldn't be so excited about seeing sun, but yeah, it, it is one of those rare things that you want to see and feel. But then when it comes summertime, you're like, oh, sun, just go away. So we can't please. God can't please us. It's a shame. But we need to change that. But anyway, like I said, I'm on my way to work. Um, nothing exciting happened today, but I just want to talk about my, um, my, the end of my, my nursing school journey, like, or, yeah, now let me not say the end, because it's really not the end, it's just the beginning, but it's the end of this phase for nursing school. It has been a, it has been, I, w I don't want to say it has been a rough two years. It was, it was, it was rough for me because um, I have a full-time job. I have a 13-year-old that I have to help also. I have my grandmother that, you know, I have to look out for and my husband. And, you know, so I still got life. I, I have a full-time job. I had a, I have a, a business, an online business, and I am in the process of, God help me, but I'm in the process of doing um, real estate, starting real estate. So I have a lot on my plate with nursing school. So that's where my challenge came in, you know. That's, that's where the challenge came in. But it's been two years because I don't know if, I, if you've seen in my other video where I told you I, was, I started nursing school 2016. January 2000. Is it? Wait, when did I start nursing school? Damn! January 2016? Yes, it was because I got my job that I have now, November 2015. Wow. That was like a long time ago. Damn. Anyhow, <laughs> that, was, that was that was a that's crazy. But anyway, yeah, I started nursing school January 2016. I am currently 16 school days away from completing this program but at the end of it and I feel like I feel like my motivation is like gone like it's like I'm right there and it's like it's so far away it's like I can't I cannot see the end I'm not even though I'm there I'm not seeing the end been going at it for so long that you you know you're at the end and it's like I can't see it yet you know but this was my schedule so for those who are working you're juggling a job or two and um, you have life you have I'm gonna tell you what my schedule was for the first year because I go to school for three hours because I did it part-time did not want to take on full-time because full-time full-time starts at 8 10 in the morning and it goes to two, three ten. That was full time. But the program that I was doing, I did it part time. So that's why it was two years. So first year class started at twelve ten and got done at three ten. Now for that first year, this was my schedule. So I would work 
I would work from 4 p.m. to 12 midnight. From from um during that time, my past days were Mondays and were Tuesdays, what Tuesday and Wednesday during my first year. So I would go to work from what from Thursday to Monday, right? From Thursday to Monday. Is that our fam? Seems like it. Anyways, um, yeah, from Thursday to Monday. So I was at school Thursday, Friday, and Monday, right? And then I had to work the entire weekend. I worked the entire weekend. And in between all of that, I would volunteer for overtime. Sorry about the shakiness. I'd volunteer for overtime or I would get mandated to eight in the morning. And then I have to leave work at 8 a.m go home and if I have a test that same day I would have to go home and study but we'll, you know I'd have to go home and study until like 11 then I, I, get, I get myself together go to school and then it starts all over again but this is how I got through a lot of the times in my first year if I got stuck at work and I had so hot in here. If I got stuck at work and I had a test to do, uh, evening shift is really hard. It's really hectic. It's, it's a lot of heavy stuff that you're doing. Right? It's a lot of heavy stuff that you're doing. However, um, nights, nights not that bad. You, you just have to make sure that they're, they're dry, they're comfortable, and they're not in any danger. And check to make sure that they're actually breathing. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So that's, that's, that's at night. You know, you do that every, every 15 minutes or so, depending on whoever the person is that you have in there and what their recommended time for checking is. You know, you have, you have other things to do, other chores and stuff in the in the house because I work in a house you know you have other things that you have to do around the house for that night so but it's not as hectic as it is on evens on evens you don't get the time to even sit you don't there's no time but on nights at least there's some there's some downtime where you can relax and so I use that time to read my book I read my book during that time so if I had an exam you know, I read, but there were times when I was sent to other houses that I don't know the houses. Like, I, I remember going to this one house and they turned all the lights off. And I felt so, like, I just did not want to be there, you know? I did not. They turned all the lights off on that overnight. And I was like, I can't, I can't be at this house. It was not overnight. I think it was a, um, Florida 12. I think it was a 412, but yeah, they turned all the lights off, and I didn't get to study that night, but I still did well on my test, and if you're a CNA and you're thinking about um, going to nursing school, go do it, right, start, don't be, don't be held back by what if, or I can't. Or, I don't know if I can. Don't be held back by none of those words because I was saying those words too. But guess what? I went to the school and I didn't see any of those things. What if? I can't. I saw, I will try, I believe, you know, those were the positive words I saw when I went through this uh, school. A lot of positive things. You have to think positive before and during your time at, at school. Just go for it. Be positive and go for it. Because if you're not looking out for yourself, nobody else is going to look out for you. Okay? Yes, you. You, you, you. The same one who's watching me who's wanting to go to nursing school. And 
you're tell you're procrastinating number one because you won't get up and go do the teeth test so and that's the start that's where you start go do it yo go do the test you, it's one step at a time one step at a time I didn't I never did sciences after the ninth grade I went to school in Jamaica the teachers choose what they want you to learn and what they want you to be which I don't ha I don't I don't now that I'm an adult I don't like that I don't like the fact that you don't get to choose what you want to be in Jamaica the choice is made for you so I never got the opportunity after the ninth grade to do the sciences. So nursing was never, never a part of my vocabulary. Never. And I, I'm not done. And I still have other decisions to make. That's why I'm saying it's, 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 not a, it's not a big deal. Like right now, after this school is done and I get my license, my next decision will be do I continue to be an RN? Do I stop here? Do I go do my master's in, in business? What do I do? That's going to be my next decision. But guess what? I'm not even... Just, just, uh, just go for it. Don't, don't stop. Don't stop pushing for yourself. You might have kids, you might have kids who are looking up to you. Go for it. Show the kids, show your kids that there's more to life than what is on the table right now. Show your kids more so they can inspire or aspire to be more. Show them more. Like, I don't want, I, if I have a master's degree, I don't want my son to have a master's degree. Oh no. My son is, 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 is going to try and have something better than what his mother has, you know. Should, should try to have something better than me. We shouldn't be on the same level. Shouldn't be on the same level, you know what I mean. Should, he, he's younger, so he needs to be doing more than I am. But I'm not saying I'm going to force him to be better than I am, you know, I'm not forcing anything on anybody, I'm just saying, all I can do is say, aspire to be better than me, you know, but, yeah, it is what it is, and if you have an urge, if there's something pulling at the tail of your shirt, I need to be more than what I am today, Go and take the T's test. They're doing T6 right now. Go and take the T's test. Register for school and go. Some of you have jobs who will pay. Pay for your school. If you're working in the state, they pay for that. Go to school. Some, some organizations, they reimburse you. If you're a CNA, they will hire you. Guys, come on now. That's gold spoon right there. Get up. Go do your test. Go do your test. And be a better person in life. Be a better person for your kids. Be a better person for yourself. Do it for you. Don't do it for nobody else. Do it for you. But do it so that your kids, if you have kids or your friends and family can see that yes I see I see the potential in this person all the time let me hear from you guys is there something that you have in mind to do my camera's moving is there something that you have in mind but you're not sure if you were inspired by my video and you like you want to see more inspirational videos from me this wasn't a, a totally, uh, in, in, this was not a total inspiration video. It was just, you know, I just felt the need to come on here and talk to you guys. Because I feel, I feel the same way how others, I felt the same way how others.
might be feeling today, you know, doubting themselves and not trying to push forward. Go ahead and push forward. You got this. I'm telling you, you got this. You'll see at the end of the day, is there a promotion exam coming up that you're fearing? Go and do the, prepare. Prepare and go and do your best. Is there a new job appointment that you have coming up? Or a job interview that you have coming up that you're scared about? Push out, my friend. Push out. Move forward. Get it done. Are you scared to go get your driver's license? Bang that out. Bang that out. Are you scared to go do a test at school? Bang that out. Bang that shit out. Just do it. Just go do it. But ensure that you prepare. Guys, I love you. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for being a subscriber. And like my channel. Like my video. Subscribe. And hit that bell. So when I put another video up, First one to know. Thank you for watching my channel, guys. And I'll see you in my next video.